Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching this video. I hope you're all doing great today. Gear. What kind of gear do I use and what do I use it for? Many of you seem to be interested in that topic, so here we go. All the gear I use on a daily basis to create videos like these and the kind of pictures you see on my Instagram account. All of the mentioned items uh, will be linked in the description box below if you want more information about it. So as you guys know, it's quite important to have a proper uh, camera bag in case you need to carry the same amount of stuff I do. So this is the Low Pro Protectic 450. In here I put all the gear I use while traveling and honestly I find this one the best one I ever tried. I've been using it for a year now and I haven't found something which I dislike. The material looks great and feels great and it's very strong which I think is very important. It has a lot of compartments inside. Let me open this thing real quick. Um, and it comes with a 15 inch laptop sleeve and the main compartment is completely adjustable with dividers. Um, I always carry a laptop, it's inside, I'll show you later. The multiple lenses, a DSLR, microphone and a drone without any issues as you can see. Oop. Sometimes I even take uh, my tripod along and I attach it to the back by using this in the front. Oh, it's very easy and it's very nice. Besides, I regularly walk through cities and I want to keep my stuff, stuff you know, like safe from thieves. Since the main compartment is only accessible through the back of the bag, I don't need to worry about becoming another pickpocket victim, for example. Let me show you what's inside. Oh, and any of this is not sponsored. This is like my own opinion. So I don't want to see any sponsored comments below. Since I'm a pilot, I have a strong interest in anything that flies, including drones. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might already know that I own a DJI Mavic Pro. It is amazing to see this thing in the air and I actually still have so much untouched drone footage I need to edit. I bought this drone two years ago, including the Fly More combo. If you're thinking about getting a drone yourself, make sure you get some extra batteries. It's so much fun to fly and you don't want to run out of battery and it goes quicker than you think. I also carry uh, these, which is a set of ND filters for the camera of the drone. And the ND or neutral density filters are especially useful when it comes to shooting in very bright conditions. It's uh, pretty much uh, sunglasses for the camera, reducing light levels without altering colors and giving you the ability to crank up the aperture. So that's this. Don't forget to get yourself a proper protector for the joysticks on the remote. Um, on the newer versions you can actually unscrew the joysticks, but this one doesn't have that feature yet. And last but not least, I always carry the batteries in um, these special bags, which serve as an extra layer of protection in case of battery fire. It gets you through uh, airport security quicker as well, and I uh, make sure you store them in your hand luggage. So the GoPro 5, GoPro Hero 5, nothing new. Uh, I think there's even a newer version on the market now. Uh, I heard the latest one is supposed to be stabilized, so perhaps I should check that one out in the future. I use this one when I like to record some underwater footage, like during a swim or something, or I use this one while driving on a scooter, like I did in Asia. Most of the footage you see from the cockpit is shot using this camera. I just simply attach it to the window. 
uh, with this um, suction cup, I think it's called. And I press record while I'm in cruise and I even forget that it's, it's out there. This is my most portable vlogging camera. It's the uh, Canon G7X Mark II. I often use it in Milan and during layovers for spontaneous photos and quick shots. This became actually a fixed flight bag item. And when I don't take it along, I end up having regrets. Uh, I like the performance, the size, the weight, and of course this flip out screen, you know? Uh, I can highly recommend this to any vlogger. The only downside is that there's no way to attach an external microphone. I also use the Yobi GorillaPod and it's great with this camera. Uh, you can attach it below and you look like this. I'm sorry, I forgot it in Milan, so I don't have it with me to show you now. Uh, but like this camera, it is a uh, lightweight and extremely useful when you need to create some videos or pictures by yourself. So yeah, that's about this camera. This is how it looks when it's on. <laughs> okay. So with every new video, I try to improve the quality. And one of the things I received a lot, and I mean a lot of comments about, was the sound quality. And to be honest, it was the worst in the beginning. I was still using the onboard microphone on the DSLR itself and at the very, very beginning I even used a Logitech webcam and I'm not even joking. So now I use this one. It is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, a newer version of the Rode VideoMic Pro and this became one of the most important items when I shoot videos like these. I used the VideoMic Pro for a couple of months, but as it turns out, sometimes it picks up static uh, interference when you're close to radio antennas. And me, sitting in Amsterdam, there are a lot of radio antennas. So uh, representatives of Rode came by to investigate why I was having these problems. So how's that for customer service, right? I might upgrade to a better one for the YouTube videos, which I record at home though. In the sleeve, I am carrying my MacBook. It is the 2015 13 inch uh, version for the people who are wondering. I love the battery life and it's very convenient while traveling. For the heavy duty stuff, I used a 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch. I was always using Windows, but honestly, since I tried the Mac OS, I never looked back. It doesn't mean I don't respect Windows users, but this is just way better in my opinion. So here I have a pouch with uh, all the required cables, some additional batteries since you can have, you know, not enough of those. Where are these, the batteries? Like here. Uh, and of course, some external drives to back up all my creations. Mm, I use these different sorts of uh, hard drives. The Lacey Rocket 1 terabyte and the Samsung T5 are my favorites. They are fast and never fail on me. So if you're looking for something lightweight with a USB-C, then go for the T5. It barely takes up any space and it's, well, it doesn't weigh anything. So that's great. Uh, last but not least, the space in the top of this bag is reserved for the DSLR, which I'm filming with right now. It's the Canon 80D and I'm actually using it to shoot video together with a Sigma 1835. My first DSLR was a Canon 750D. It was a nice camera for beginners, but I felt like it lacked when it came to shooting videos. The ATD has a dual pixel autofocus and can shoot at 60 frames. I'm currently saving up some money to upgrade further. Maybe a Canon 1DX Mark II? Well, we'll see in the future. Uh, I always carry this lens as well. It's a Canon 18 135 But actually, I mainly use the one I'm filming with right now. It's a Sigma. 1835. Well, that's basically it. All the gear uh, I take with me while shooting videos like these and when I'm making pictures for Instagram. The mentioned products are linked below in case you want to learn more. And if you have any tips for me or for all my followers out there, please uh, feel free to comment below and that way everybody can benefit. So check out my Instagram for daily posts and stories and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.